welcome back. Today we are going to see a very important laptop, not for me but for everyone. So why it's important? Just keep watching. So you can see it here. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad T495S. So T495 in the sense 4 for 14 inch, T for T series. 9 means is 9th generation of this model and 5 means is the AMD West and S means is slim model. So this is T495S, you can see the laptop, it's very slim design and slim you can see all around, it's very nicely built, it's built out of magnesium alloy, so you can see uh, you can, it's very durable in the long run. So basically this laptop made for the business users and uh, keeping their requirement in mind so this laptop offers modest performance it's not very high performing if you're into gaming or if you're, if you're into multimedia tasks a heavy multimedia task then look elsewhere but for normal day-to-day -day tasks and normal stuff this is a very good laptop i would say so we'll very soon we'll see the reason why i'm saying it's a good laptop so this one let me tell you the price i got it for around 800 dollars from the us and um, in india probably it would cost around close to a lakh I don't know because in India side that doesn't show the price completely so as I have said the design is very slim and it's completely black this is matte black finish and this is even it's a kind of uh, uh, composite material this is not plastic this is not uh, alloy so here they have only this is a single fan in it so just a single fan here and uh, okay so let me quickly run down through the ports so here you can see in this side this is the exhaust out port here it's taking the air in and from here the air is coming out so and this is the power share port i mean this is usb 3.1 it's a power share port it's always on this is the Kenningstone lock so if you come to this side if you come to this side, here the first it's a combo audio in and out port. This is the HDMI 2.0. This is USB 3.1. But again, this is not power share. So here it's a Lenovo proprietary RJ45 LAN port. And this is a USB Type C port, not Thunderbolt. And this is again a USB Type C port. But again, not Thunderbolt. So we have covered the design and we have covered the build quality. So as I said, it's very robust build. It's not very, you know, kind of flimsy or something. So I'm just trying to twist the screen a little bit. So you cannot twist it. Oh. So this is a laptop. If you open it, it just look like this. So, okay. So we missed something. Yeah. This is the power cord. The power cord is relatively lengthy. Okay, and yeah, and this is a modern laptop. Yeah, this is a very modern laptop. So this is this is my first laptop I'm seeing with USB Type C charger. It's a very good uh, improvement over the previous ones because Lenovo usually all the companies they use proprietary chargers, but here it's not. It's a Type C, and this is a 65 port charger. So they say it's a very fast charger, but in my case it took around 1.8 hours to get fully charged. Aside. okay now let's talk about the weight so since it's a very slim laptop it just weighs around 1.3 kilo which is really good so it's very slim it's very lightweight because of its magnesium alloy build so you can take it anywhere and uh, the screen the screen you can open it with one finger just like this so probably a lot of Dell laptops are there which you cannot open people will complain but I like laptops with with very tight hinge so this is very kind of very soft hinge so a few people like it but I personally do not like it so it's a personal difference so if you talk about the screen angle then yeah it's, you can totally make it flat to 180 degrees so a few people like it and I like it a lot so now let me show you the viewing angle and the speaker quality so this is the viewing angle you can see this is the IPS display with 250 nits so, which is generally bright, so, but it's not meant for outdoors. And outdoors in bright direct sunlight, you cannot see anything literally. It's very dim compared to that. So if you want to see, if you want to use a laptop in the sunlight, then opt for a minimum of 500 nit display. So, 
and uh, the tilting angle so we can have a look it's not bad for indoor it is it's good so this screen is 60 hertz screen 60 hertz uh, full hd screen so let's see the speakers Speakers, one is here, another is here. The sound quality is reasonably good, okay, for business use, but nothing spectacular like a MacBook Pro or, or like a gaming laptop. Inputs, inputs, you can see this is a typical ThinkPad keyboard. The keyboard is very good, it's very nice, it's a very nice keyboard. So, ThinkPads are famous for their keyboards, and the trackpad, trackpad is really good, it's smooth and from it works from edge to edge it doesn't have any dead zones around the edges and this supports microsoft precision driver so really it's, it's good it's up to the mark uh, i would not say very good because uh, the laptops like dell xps or uh, even the thinkpad x series have a better trackpad but this is since a t series it's reasonable and here we've got a fingerprint sensor it's not fips complaint but it's a normal fingerprint sensor so here we've got the power button and uh, yeah, this is the famous ThinkPad, uh, what they call it, trackball or something. Okay, and uh, this keyboard is backlit, a two-stage backlit, you can adjust the backlit from here. So the screen, the screen is a matte finish, it's a full HD screen and it's a touch screen. So in this model, this is a T495S again, so in this model, you'll get the option of a three full HD screens and one 4k screen so three full hd screen options one is uh, of 500 nits another and rest other are 250 nits so this is a 250 nits touch screen model so again this screen is a matte finish and uh, it's very good very good for business use not for multimedia consumption but for normal task normal product task it's really good so here again they got a here is the webcam so webcam you can see you can just uh, this comes with the thing sort of program you can this is a physical button here, you can close, open the webcam, so you can close the webcam. So who are very privacy concerned, for them it's wonderful. And uh, here you can see the logos, in terms of logos, this is a Lenovo, very subtle logo, very nice, very minimalistic, I like it in this way. And here the AMD Ryzen Pro processor, you can see, and uh, this is the ThinkPad batch, and this ThinkPad batch is there since generations, literally. It has an AMD Ryzen 5 Pro series processor, so it's exactly it's 3500U and it comes with a Vega 8 graphics. So it's a very uh, low power consuming processor, so the TDP rating is 15 watt, so you can expect a moderate performance out of this. So this is a 4 core and 8 thread processor and uh, it's based on 12 nanometer technology. It's not that old, but it's, it's good. It's currently up to the standard. So, and it is AMD machine, so AMD machine in the sense, it, uh, there are a few negatives of the AMD machines so associated with previously. So generally AMD machines, we assume that they don't offer better performance as compared to the Intel machines or they do not have the modern technologies like Thunderbolt 3, yes. This is the main drawback of this laptop, it doesn't support Thunderbolt 3. So if you are planning to put an external graphics card or if you are planning to run uh, multiple monitors from it and it cannot do that it can just it, it doesn't have that kind of bandwidth to power to power it it doesn't have thunderbolt 3 so that's the main disadvantage i would say so this is md ryzen processor and uh, this is ryzen 5 not ryzen 7 not the top of the line it's a ryzen 5 processor and it's a 3 5 the u u in the sense low power consuming processor so h3 processor means it's a high performance processor the same goes to intel h means high uh, performing processor this is a EU, in the sense it's a very low power consuming processor and it boasts around 16 GB of RAM, uh, it's a DDR4 2.4 GHz speed. So this is a dual channel based RAM, so this is really good, this is what they have improved from, I mean previously, the previous thing better having only single channel uh, RAM. 
this is a dual channel 16 gb ram and it's integrated graphics so if it uses some amount of ram for the graphics so in here in this case is consuming around 2 gb of ram for the graphics so it's a vega 8 based uh, graphics card and this is by western digital so this is having a western digital 256 gb nvme ssd so the performance is really good it's it's not like uh, say uh, samsung 970 but uh, 960 or 870 even but it's really good so you cannot feel that difference between you know between this uh, nvme ssd and say samsung 970 so this is the ssd and the uh, wi-fi it's not wi-fi 6 it's wi-fi 5 and it has bluetooth and the port is, it doesn't have an infrared thing or something and yeah one thing i missed the port wise so this supports optional one port so we can put a sim card here so and you can pretty much use it like a mobile device so this was the specs now let's come to the upgradability so i, I have read you cannot upgrade this laptop because this ram is older on the motherboard and the only thing you can upgrade is the nvme ssd so it by stock it has 256 if you want if you can put a one up to two terabyte ssd into it so you can upgrade in that term but not in terms of ram so when you are buying it buy with the highest ram as per requirement so it only ships with 8 gb 8 gb and 16 gb ram so take your pick okay so now let's talk about thermal efficiency so this laptop is uh, good at managing thermals but uh, compared to its inter siblings is not that good it uh, makes little noise while if, if you put it in load but in normal ideal condition you will not hear anything so in load it just makes a little bit fan noise but nothing that will annoy you okay so now let's talk about the performance so we've gone through the specs so now let's come to the synthetic benchmarks so in Cinebench R15 the single bit score is 144 and for multi bit multi bit score is 6001 and for PC Mark 10 uh, the score is a pretty reasonable 3818 in 3D Mark 11 it uh, goes to reasonable 3535 it's above average so now let's talk about the noise so it doesn't make that much noise but if you load it to its skill then probably it makes little noise so in idle conditions it makes from 28 dB to 29 dB and in load if you put it so much workload then probably 29 dB to 30 dB nothing much no, nothing that will irritate you so about the power consumption in standby it consumes around 0.29 to 0.71 watts and in normal idle condition 5.1 to 10.7 watts and during the load it takes 35 to 43 watts which is quite reasonable for this processor so this is a uh, 12 nanometer processor and max and it uh, the average is a 15 kdp processor so it doesn't go beyond 45 or say 50 like an intel h3 processor so it stays within limit and hence the battery life now let's talk about the battery life so it boasts a 57 watt hour battery so which is the probably the business standard i mean probably the standard uh, battery you can get in a 14 inch laptop like this so this is a 13 inch laptop 13.9 inch exactly so in all the 13 inch of Odin laptop will get the same max max to max 55 or 57 watt hour battery in my wi-fi test in like surfing the web and uh, doing the normal basic stuff on some wall document or something like that so in that case it makes around nine hours of battery life and movie with full HD resolution so it gave me around 11 hours and 48 minutes which is quite good so now let's come to the conclusion so basically for whom this laptop is for so this laptop is for the business users or for the school goers or for the uh, engineering college students so those who want a basic laptop to do their day-to-day -day productivity it's not a laptop meant for gaming or meant for high multimedia uses or high performance multimedia work like video editing or uh, um, some animation or something it's not targeted towards that kind of crowd but a normal office user will be more than happy with this laptop so the first let's talk about the negatives so this lacks a thunderbolt 3 port since it's amd based in it and thunderbolt is an intel technology so it doesn't support thunderbolt 3 so but since it's usb c you can expect a very good transfer speed but not like thunderbolt 3 so you cannot hook up a, an external graphics card to have the gaming capability of this laptop or you cannot hook uh, external displays to be powered directly from this laptop so you cannot do that 
and the second night I would say it makes a little bit noise I mean the fan noise is a little high when you just put it in load so that's the two negatives I would say apart from that I didn't really found anything to complain about and consider it's price in $800 it's 56,000 man it's really good so let's talk about the positive now the positive the keyboard comes first the keyboard is excellent keyboard it's a Lenovo I mean the ThinkPad trademark keyboard is really good really very good for typing really comfortable so this trackpad again it's a very nice trackpad it's not like the MacBook or not like kind of Dell XPS but it does its job pretty well and the display yeah the display could be brighter so that's another negative i would say so just 250 nits is not meant for out day ages but yeah occasionally when you want to work outdoors then this laptop is not good so just 250 nits so it could have been a little more brighter but apart from that it's good fine display it's a touch screen it does its job very well what else you can expect in this 800 dollar range and the speaker quality again it's a business laptop so i would not say it, it needs a very powerful speaker but yeah they could have improved it and apart from that i don't really find anything so it's a very good laptop i would recommend everyone to use it i mean who are in this uh, segment who wants have a very slim laptop or slim to carry around or something for them it's, it's recommended md thumbs up okay guys so if you like this video and if you like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot. See you next time.